Speargrass opioid, which is a new character called Franklin Eagle Child. I got delayed at the beginning of the year on Speargrass a little bit because I wanted to make sure it was, well, as close as I could make to perfect. So I spent extra time on that. I, it was going to be south uh, western Saskatchewan is where it was going to be. Um, there were certain criteria for the location, things I needed for the story, and that was going to fit okay. But the Great Falls area just fit what I wanted. Um, there's an Air Force base there, yeah. which, which is important to the story. Great Falls is, is, is a nice city, nice big river flowing through it. So it just had some of the things I needed and it, it just fit. It was just a fit and I had fun doing it. I became familiar with it and that was, that was the setting. It, it needed to be a Western setting. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the right title is. Uh, Speargrass is really a, a bit of a modern Western. The twist I, I tried to put on it though is instead of having one main character, I feel I have two. So a 1A and a 1B. The Franklin Eagle Child, he's an ex-rodeo cowboy. He's just been beat up over the years of rodeo and can't rodeo anymore. So what's he going to do? So he returns to Speargrass Reservation, which is where he was born and grew up. But he's been away for a long time. So it's not easy for him just kind of popping back, hey, everybody, I'm home. Mm -hmm. And then the 1B character is uh, Riley Briggs, and he's a drug enforcement agent. And uh, he's uh, out of uh, Great Falls. And so the two of them have a history. So they're not total strangers to each other. And when they kind of see each other, it's, hey, how you doing? Hey, tell me about rodeo or that sort of thing. They don't talk about what they're working on. And so they don't realize that they're both dealing with the opioid crisis at the same time. These parallel paths going and each is discovering a little bit of information. The other discovers other information and doesn't really cross until they realize they're working on the same thing. Yeah, and so they're, they're different. They're very different characters. Um, but, but they work well together. So they, they form this, this partnership that's, you know, as good as, as any partnership, you know, I had, um, even though, you know, they kind of ha have a different history now are trying to accomplish different things, but they had a common goal and that was the opioid crisis.